All right. Well, apparently I've been shortcutted to Riften. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard, vampire hunters or something. That's sort of hilarious in a funny way. I was pretty much done with Iverstead. I was going to be heading well to um. My next stop was going to be Winterhold, but apparently I've been somewhat sidetracked here. Old Fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Yeah, whatever. That's nice. Okay. Well. Now give me a minute here to get myself oriented, and I'll be right back. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Skyrim. Still here. We are unexpectedly in Riften, as I may have mentioned in the preamble to the episode. So. I've got your back. First job of the day is let's do a quick tour of the town, see what the peoples have to say, and uh, then we're going to do some errands off screen. I'll do some crafting. There's a smelter in town here, probably a table for um, uh, enchanting, disenchanting, and whatnot, and other stuff, so we'll get all that out of the way. Look at all the butterflies. So many butterflies. This place is going to be amazing for potion making. Just amazing. So, anyways. My goal is to get to Winterhold. We've only been yeah? temporarily detoured. Not halted or stopped or anything. What time of the night is it? It is 2.45 in the morning. No wonder it's dead. Alright, well, you know what? Let's just uh, wait a few minutes here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll just do a quick wait here. Watch the shadows move across the screen. And... There should be a little more life in the streets now. Or at least soon. Well, let's pop into this uh, shop here. No, that's Skyrim. That goes outside. We want to go in to the Scorched Hammer. That's our local blacksmith. Let's see if he's got anything interesting to say or for us to do or whatever. Oh, hello. You are fire tamer. Have you met Balaman? I'm his apprentice. An apprentice. He's teaching me all about being a blacksmith. Cool. Where is Balaman? Where is he hiding? Hmm. Wouldn't be a killer if he died. Nothing down here. This would be stealing. No, I'm going to start off on the wrong foot like that. Let's go find Mr. Balam. Balam? Hmm. So that's all that there is to the inside of this place. There's nothing more to it. It is a little, little house. Alright, well, let's see if he's outside at his forge now. It's kind of funny how some NPCs just die for no apparent reason. It's, it's kind of odd. It can make this game just a little bit of a pain at times, to be honest. Oh, there he is. Good morning, Balamond. Come to see Balamond perform miracles with steel, eh? Ah, you seem quite proud of your work. Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. Very impressive. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. I'll get, I'll get some for you. Let me see what I can do. You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt should give me all I need to bring this forge back to life. Too cool. Alright, let's see... What you've got for sale. Take a look. Well, more importantly, what I've got available to sell. 
cultist gloves that actually have a value. We'll keep one set of those. Now we'll let that go. We'll let that go. Let that go. And any weapons that I don't need? You know, I'm going to hang on to that dagger for now. We'll get rid of the great sword because it weighs a bloody ton. We'll keep the daggers. Tonto can go. Because I might be able to enchant well, a few things. Honest days work in life for all that coin you carry. The what the hell are you talking about? I'm sorry, what? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it, honestly. I can tell. Alright, how could you possibly know that? No, my wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's what you're going to ask. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. <sighs> Man, what do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Uh, what do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Uh, why plant the ring on Branche? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna let I'm ready this when go you are. for now because that is a yeah. lot of. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? All right, we'll deal with that in a minute. Okay, lass, ready to make some coin? Mm. Not yet. I do want to see what this guy's got for sale. He wants to be a leader, but spends too much time. Can I interest you in some? Just what you see here. Let's see what you got, man. Oh, soul gems. Expensive soul gems. Man. I can't afford this crap. Learning enchanting is gonna be hard. Alright, well. I suppose I can afford a... You know what? Do I have... Keep your any perks? I do. Let's go have a word with the speech tree here, eh? I'll shush you. Uh, let's see. So, 30% better prices. Can't do that yet. Briberies don't matter to me. That's all helping with stuff. Hmm. Better merchant stuff. All right, nothing here will help me with my prices right I now. You have anything you me. wish to sell? Everything I've got on display, really. I'm tempted to buy his petty soul gem. And he's got filled lesser gems. You know what? Why on earth is the petty soul gem that much ex more expensive than the lessers? Oh, wait, hold on. Those are empty lesser soul gems. That's why. All right, let's grab some soul gems because we really do need those in the long run. Because enchanting is going Keep to be your eyes to the road. But yeah, all right, let's uh, tour around town here a bit, see what else is going on. Fairest prices and the highest quality in Skyrim. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I. But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter, and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shad, the last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. Hmm. Orc chiefs should be strong and stand alone. They need no companions. Progeny is a poor excuse. Yeah. That's What's your nice. problem? Huh? Uh, what do you want? Uh, you work at the stables? Yes. Hofgreer took me in when I arrived in Riften about a year ago. 
He's been teaching me everything he knows. Horses are my whole life. Back in Hammerfell, I helped my family raise horses at our farm. I hope to open my own stables one day. But I think it's going to take a lot longer than I expected. Alright, what kind of trouble are you in? I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. Uh, tell me the details. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. Alright, I'll see what I can do. You will? Oh, thank you. Be right. careful with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty people. Indeed she does. I've got a job to work with one of them. Alright. Not a lot going on here. Black Bar Meadery, we'll just keep our distance from that. Let's, uh... Who's this? Who's this guy? Okay, I'm gonna save my game quick here. Just for safekeeping. Who are you? Learn a library college in moments. Just a random throw back that missing person. limb with my genuine Falma blood elixir. Alright. The question is Gems, potions, can I actually steal that? I Buying and selling, All right. buying jewelry. You know what? Let's just do this thing. Okay, lass. All right. Ready to make some coin. Let's get this started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone. Vegetables. Everyone. Please. All right. I need to rig up my magic because we're going to need open locks to open this. Please, I need but a septum. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. Okay. Alright, let's way, hope Over here. no one is watching. Sneaking, no issue there. Uh, sleep's definitely going to be affecting me long term, but let's see. Let's see what we got here. Any potions for lock picking? Enchanter's potion, sneaky potion. I suppose I could pop a sneaky potion. Invisibility. No, I have not discovered any sure. lock picking. I wouldn't want you to get lucky. Oh. That's what you said about the whip. That's it. And it turns out the question. Well, that worked out absolutely cool. poorly as hell. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. Lots and lots of the problem is your disrespect for the laws of this land. Shoot. It's time to face the yard's justice. Are you talking about? Alright. Ah, oh, bugger. Fine, I'll pay the damn bounty. That was a stupid idea anyways, you moron. Seriously, Brynjolf, that's the best you can come up with? Like, really? Come freaking on. Alright, let's get my mages. Let's get back into mage gear here. Ooh, cultist robes. I wonder what those look like. Okay, those look kind of awesome. Let's use, let's wear the, the gear of the people who tried to kill me. Why not? Gloves. Um, I will slap on. Did I have cultist gloves? I thought I kept a set of them. Maybe. Oh, boots. Matching boots. And matching gloves. Not gonna wear the damn masks. Those are ugly as sin. Uh, I don't have any circlets yet, though. We'll keep the hood for now. Those look rather awesome, though, don't they? 
Definitely an improvement visually. All right, let's see what Mr. Brynjolf has to say for himself, because as I say, that was a weak plan. Seriously, what the hell, man? I can't take this place anymore. In the trees. I guess I expected too much from you. Oh. I didn't think you'd get pinched. Can't say I'm surprised with the way things have been going around here. Hmm. What's been going on? Yeah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. Even though you fouled up the job, I still think you've got the spark I'm looking for. There's plenty of gold out there for the taking, if you're up to the challenge. Yeah, I could be convinced. Yeah, I can. All right it. then, let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Already then. Fair enough. But not until I've had a good night's sleep. And that good night's sleep is going to come cheaper. What is it with you and all these questions? Very well. I haven't Ask asked away. you any questions. I'm right behind you. Give me. And I'm very thirsty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need the tent. Come on. Open the damn backpack. All right. Backpack. Let's go set up for the night out you lead, outside the city. Cause I ain't paying for an in tonight. No bloody way. I'm done with this. If you're looking for a handout, fine. To speak if you won't myself. listen to me, I'll I find someone who will. With a thief's Who's that guy? Be careful, you. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, listen to an old man. Are you all right? Huh? Uh, well, not really. Ah, uh, what's wrong? Well, I was taking an evening walk like I always do, and I saw some men outside the Echo Deep Mine. The thing is, they look like mercenaries, up to no good. What makes you say that? I've never seen them around here, and they look real tough. In addition, the Echo Deep Mines are not a place people go. There are myths about it. Hmm. Interesting. What kind of myths? All sorts of stories. Some say it's haunted by ghosts. Some say a wealthy bandit lord hides out in it, quietly contributing to the crime in Riften. Hmm. Some people even say that deep within the mines there are Dweber ruins, full of all sorts of automatons just waiting to slay whoever enters. All right. So what's the problem? On my way back from my walk, I passed the mine entrance again. I heard all sorts of horrific noises. I reckon something happened to those men. Anyone going to those mines is up to no good. Now I've asked a guard to take a look, but they just ignore me. I need someone to see what's happened. Hmm. All right. Would you go look for me? Please, if they're planning something, the city guard needs to know. Please, go check for me. All right, sure, why not? Finally, thank you. I'll mark it down on your map. Uh, just be careful. Uh, we still don't know what's in there. Okay. So here's the plan. It's one in the afternoon. I am going to cut the video here briefly. I am going to do some crafting, go set up camp for the night, and in the morning we're going to go down to the Ratway and go find this place they call the Ragged Flagon. Anyways, I'll see you on the flip side. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Riften. I didn't get quite as much done as I wanted, because I just don't have the soul gems for it. Um, what I did yes, do sir. is I spent a significant amount of coin on the soul trap spell. So, which, which, speaking of which, I should really put on my favorites list. Because I expect I'm going to be using that a lot. So, equip Unrelenting Force. Soul Trap is a... Ooh, that's useful. 
All right, so there's no, but there's no going to be no value in trapping black souls. But we'll make this num soul trap number nine for now. It's a conjuration spell. Hmm. Oh, really? Can't use number nine. All right. What don't, what don't I need from this list here? Hmm. I could probably let the Staff of Zombies go for now. I'll just try and remember to use that on occasion. Actually, down in the dungeon, ironically enough, might be a good place for it. But... Alright. So, let's get down in the Ratway and find out what this Brynjolf guy's got going on here. And hopefully not die in the process, because that would be nice. I like to live. But fortunately for me, I got Lydia. Here we are. Alright, let's see what we got going on down here. Alright, well, at least I'm sneaky. Sneaky sneakies. What should I say? Who's there? How skin you alive? Oh, somebody angry. Whoa. That was random. Where was that? Time to end this lever show. Come here. Oh. crap. Stuff that I can turn into potions. Decent amount of coin, though. You, some arrows, bone meal. Yes, I am fully cognizant of the fact that I am stripping the flesh off of these idiots' bones. What you doing, Lydia? I fought worse than you. Oh, yeah? Well, hello. Your day's about to get really bad. Here he comes. Where is he gonna come? Where are you going, Lydia? Did you just jump off the edge? I think you did. You puny Fire, man. is actually not going so bad. New save. Always like to have a spare save down here. And through the right way we go. A skeever. Let's not carry the ugly ass thing around with me. That is such an annoying effect. Alright. Where'd it go? I dropped it, right? Where'd the skeever go? I apparently dropped the full thing, but I don't know where it wound up. I guess it must have just fallen through the geometry or something. Okay, well, not the end of the world. Whole bunch of garbage. Okay, opening the door. Ooh, hello. We don't like people here. Alright, what do we have here? We have a very deadly puddle of oil. Some empty barrels and somebody. Somebody. do we have here? Garlic? Ooh. 
This food's actually in decent condition. Joink. And a coin. And I'm quite sure there's nobody here who's going to miss it. Alright, so the plan is... Next... Oh, hello, there's our problem. I was wondering where we were getting that from. Alright. Field dress. Alright, two seconds. Gonna... Oh, hello. Never mind. Okay, well, I was expecting that to be a little more difficult. Ooh, unarmed strike boost. That's cool. I didn't even know that spell existed. Alright, give me two seconds. I'm gonna skin this skeever. And I am back. I have butchered the skeever for goodies. And this guy loves his bear traps. Let's try not getting killed by bear traps on our way in. No, I don't need anything from the cooking pot here. All I can do is char meat. Salt. Need salt. Probably need to steal, crap, steal a whole bunch of booze, too. <sighs> I'll admit I kind of missed the sneaking heads up radical thing. It sure does make understanding whether you've been spotted or not easier. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Dang it, Lydia. Pretty sure that was you. A ratty old end. Oh, eminent lock picking gloves. Hell yeah. Alright, let's see what we got through here. I think Brynjolf really just wanted me to clean up this this uh, hellhole the rat way. Get rid of all the psychopaths that are standing between him and his bar. There's a shortcut. Later. Salt. Bread. Eh, drum's not really worth that much. Pickpocketing book. Never hurts. Ah, well, let's, uh... See if I can open this door. Too complex of a mechanism. My alteration is not good enough yet. Well, let's do something towards that. Alright. Here we go. See the ragged flag.